If you consider yourself to be a black feminist, you need to know a little more about this woman over here on the left, Miss Gloria Steinem. I did do a video on Miss Gloria a few years ago, but I think I'm going to reiterate it again today, seeing as the number of black feminists possibly doubled or even tripled, and repetition deepens the impression. The title of this article did get cut off on the screen, but it is called Black Feminism, the CIA, and Gloria Steinem. What follows is a fact sheet about Gloria Steinem's operations against the various social and political movements in America, particularly her role in creating a hateful and virulent strain of black feminism that attacks black men while partnering with the white establishment. Click the comment and go back and watch that woman's entire video. I just want to add on to it. I just find it ironic that all this went down in the exact same decade our modern child support system was established. Less than five years apart at that. Now, prior to the establishment of Title 40 in 1975, child support was a system that was left up to each individual state to decide. When Title 4D was passed, then the federal government got involved and gained the right to tell states what they can and can't do with their child support system. More importantly, rather than going after deadbeat, the system now went after any parent that was branded non-custodial by the states. And the states made money off of this system because the federal government would give them reimbursements in the form of aid for every dollar a non-custodial parent paid into the child support system. So while the child support system isn't directly sexist, men are still typically the breadwinner, so they are more likely to be deemed non-custodial by each state. But more importantly, for a while now, I have theorized that the child support system was likely established to break up the black family. For decades, white supremacists would make jokes about how black men don't pay their child support and how they don't get to see their kids. It's starting to sound more and more like that was the plan all along, especially with this branch of feminism being started by the CIA to teach black women to hate black men. And what happens if you don't pay your child support? Oh yeah, you go to jail for it. Which goes back into the loophole in the 13th Amendment in which involuntary servitude could be used as a punishment for certain crimes. My state of Louisiana has the highest incarceration rate of any state. And most of that is black men. So in a nutshell, I think there is a reasonable argument to be made that the child support system as we know it today was meant to one, divide the black family and make another excuse to incarcerate black men for victimless crimes. Now don't get me wrong, child support is a great idea and it does have its place in society, but the way it's run under Title 4D is completely corrupt and arguably racist and it needs to be repealed.